John Goodman? Ha! <laughs> What it do ski, it's your boy Farewell34, and today I'm here with a reaction video to Community. This one is season three, episode six. How's it going, everyone? Things have been just ramping up in the show in terms of just the uh, insanity. So let's see where episode six is gonna take us. So as always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, guys, in case you're interested in joining along this journey with me and getting the full underdog reactions, then definitely check out patreon.com slash Farewell34 in the description down below with that being said let's get into this one guys Yeet. oh the return of the TV wrench on the square thing and jiggle it left his apprentice what you just described is a manager for new hey hey I'm just here for the tater tots I know you think you made your mind up about plumbing and I respect that unclog one toilet with me and tell me you don't feel something are you Pierce Hawthorne of Hawthorne wipes at your cervix Oh, sorry, I thought you were a lady. You can use that cervix line if you want. I told you it was him. Would you mind signing this? He's a big fan. I got a pocket full of Hawthorne, a pocket full of Hawthorne. Okay. Power down. In the That's wife's hilarious. business, we call them towel heads. I'm just impressed you got through a whole conversation with two gay men without doing this. Wait, those guys were... Why do you think they wanted your autograph? This might be why. It's Friday night, I'm putting on my highest heels, my shortest skirt, my best device for concealing my penis, and I got everything I need. Ha! I got my body, got my lips, got a pocket full of Hawthorne. <laughs> Your moist towelettes are a gay icon. What do Hawthorne wives have to do with the choice to be gay? That's hilarious. Well, according to I'm gonna sue the pants off that lady. I don't think that's a lady. And why do you want his pants off? Shut up! I only wanted his pants off when I thought he was a lady. So you were attracted to him. The only thing I'm attracted to is taking him to court and eating his ass alive. Well, <laughs> that's not what I meant, stuffing gay things in my mouth. Hey. <laughs> hey, what's going on with you bitches? Bitches is uh, gay talk for friends. A man should not be judged by what he does with a fellow man's butt. Here's the kick. Plus, since that song came out, both on the wife's sales went up 7%. And it's good. Yep, I even had my own people mock up a design for a new product line. Oh, God. Hawthorne Pride Wipes, they may cost more. But they're gayer. Greendale's first annual gay bash. Wow, Pierce, congratulations on meeting the minimum requirements for open-mindedness. What type of cookies yeah. do you want at the party? We have peanut butter or chocolate chip. Rainbow, bitches. <laughs> Tight seal, good flow. Kid's pretty handy. You get the hell out of here! Go on! <laughs> what is that? You listen to me. What you have is a gift. And some people are gonna try to take advantage of that gift. Promise me you use it for good. All right, I promise. Good. Now come to me with the second floor. Somebody pooped in the sink. Piers, the plumbing world is more vast than we initially thought. You know, we have Pierce and old Anastasia Hawthorne. Colonel Sanders? What? What's up with his we hair? We need to talk, boy. <laughs> oh. He's been snatched by <laughs> John <Sure>. Goodman. <laughs> you have been selected as potential candidates for the Greendale Air Conditioning Repair School. We don't want you to tell anyone about this. And if you do, we don't want them believing you. Isn't that right, Black Hitler? Your initiation. These are your friends, Piers. Hello. Minorities, Jewesses. And the unseasonably tan. That is inappropriate. And maybe you'll give that more weight since I'm white. You've got a wide brow. <coughs> what are you, Scandinavian? Yeah, Swedish. Swedish dogs. Your blood is tainted by generations of race mixing with Laplanders. You're basically fiends. Solid ivory is the only way to be assured of true follicular purity while still identifying myself as a man of means. I can excuse racism, but I draw the line at animal cruelty. You can excuse racism. So, what brings you here? After discussing it with my father, the party's off. And we're canceling Pride Wipes. Stand up straight, fierce and old, when talking to the lower classes. Please tell me you did not cancel your gay party because of your father. It's a business decision, Jeff. I took a look at the numbers, had someone explain them to me, and... This is the way we're going. I thought you said Pierce's idea was dumb. Well, that was before it was being oppressed by uh, a father. A homophobe. This isn't about fathers. This is about a long-suffering community with a constitutional right to wipe whoever and whatever they want. Well, if you like gay people so much, why don't you marry them? 
Over time, we became expert at making our superiors comfortable. We made it our business. And along the way, we learned to make ourselves comfortable. Breath prints approved. Feel that? Actually, I don't feel... Precisely. Have you heard the expression room temperature? Of course. This is the room. This is the room temperature room. It's incredible. That's what we do, Troy. Incredible, invisible, unbelievable things. We're an unseen, unknown, invincible fraternity of craftsmen. Graduates of this school are guaranteed lucrative employment for their entire lives. And I'm inviting you. Air conditioning repair will be your life. A life of secrets you'll be unable to share with outsiders. You will be an air conditioning repairman and nothing else. Until the day you die. I don't expect you to make a decision now. <laughs> Surprisingly dramatic. <laughs> Take 24 hours. Cool. Go Pierce! Go Pierce! It's your birthday! Well, congratulations! You got Pierce to symbolically kill his father by dancing to club music. You of all people should be happy about this. Pierce is becoming a more tolerant person, and it has nothing to do with his father. Look at me now, Dad! Yeah, look at me now, Dad! Look at me now, Dad! Look at me now, Dad! Our air conditioning system wasn't built for this gay a party. I'll take a look. I have a gift. I'm special. I'm not a loser like you. I'm gonna eat spaceman paninis with Black Hitler, and there's nothing you can do about it! <laughs> I don't really see the dilemma. Plumbing and air conditioning seem more or less identical. They're not. They couldn't be more or less identical. Well, what do you feel like doing? Honestly, I feel like watching TV with you. But they're making me choose, and if I choose wrong, I could screw up my whole life. You really have to make a decision. I say go with whatever makes you the happiest. Because again, they're virtually the same thing. All right, bitches! I just want to say this whole thing was a huge mistake. Uh, Hawthorne White is officially severing its ties to the gay community. Fact, immediately will return to being a straight only product. Fake heart attack. Classic. I told him everything he knows. What the hell was that? That was. That was my boy. Standing up for good old Hawthorne values. All due respect, sir, I have zero respect for you. Typical Welsh nonsense. But father, I hear, so you really want to be like this guy? He's wearing elephant bones on his head. He will be what I tell him to be because I am his father. I could live a million years and I could spend every minute of it doing important things, but at the end of it all, I would have only lived half a life if I had not raised a son. This was a gift that was handed to you. You squandered it. And the reason you have so much hatred in your heart is because you're trying to fill a hole where your kid was supposed to go. And now it's too late. Now you're just stomping around trying to prove you exist. Well, mission accomplished. But here's a question I'd like to pass on to you from every son of every crap dad that ever lived. So what? Oh, real hard? Oh. Come on in. He's a Hawthorne. This is what they do. He's faking. That's crazy. Pierce, listen, I just want to say, did you know that the Canadian Mallard is the only waterfowl who bites his father's head off on his way out of the womb? That is definitely not true. I don't know. I looked it up on the Wycopee diet. I just want to say, you know, <laughs> sorry for killing your dad. Don't blame yourself. He bought a lot of his organs from questionable sources. Father, I'll never forget what you said to me on my first day of school. 
Comb your hair, you idiot. You look Greek. I'll never know if that was true, but I do know that I was too scared to stand up for myself. Well, I'm not scared of you anymore because you're dead, and I'm not. Dude just told his dead dad to suck it. So edible. You're the worst. <laughs> Your 24 hours has expired. I need an answer, Troy. Are you ready to join the elite brotherhood of guys who fix air conditioners? I'm sorry, Vice Dean Laybourne, but I realize no one's better than anyone else. I mean, some people are better at sports, and, and there are magicians, but I was put on this earth to do something else. So you're going to be what? A plumber? No. I'm not going to be a plumber either. Because they have to deal with poop. <laughs> my decision for now is to watch TV with my friend. You're making a huge mistake, son. That may be, sir. But at least it's my mistake. It doesn't change the fact that it's a mistake. Doesn't it? The guy's got some serious father issues. Don't you think you may have had some Oedipal issues as well? I'm not really seeing the connection. You literally killed a father. Yeah, well, not mine, dummy. Wow. Jeff doesn't see it. Hey, Winger. You're usually the one, too. Going home alone? Gay! <laughs> that was close, Constable Reggie. I thought those blowguns had us dead to rights. What on beta earth do they want from us, Inspector? The question isn't what they want from us, Constable. But when? Inspector, look out! Blowguns! <laughs> Take that vlog on scum. How old are you guys? The question isn't how old we are, but when old we are. In your face, vlog you on, on Twitch. Pew, 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 pew. What's up, girl? How you living? Pew. <laughs> how you living? And that was my reaction video to Community Season 3, Episode 6. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think this episode had some pretty good elements. I think my favorite my favorite parts had to have been uh, with John Goodman and Troy. Uh, I thought the sort of enrollment in this society of air conditioning and uh, plumbing with John Goodman was really fun. Uh, just how ridiculous it was, but how they paid it off is also very serious from the directing, the music cues, uh, the, and, 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 all, and all that was a lot of fun. Also, they, the way that they just throw, sort of incorporated uh, Black Hitler and uh, the space, uh, an astronaut making paninis was also just sort of wacky and random, but um, that contrasted with just how like deadly serious it was, was also a lot of fun. The idea of Hawthorne White uh, being really massive in the gay community, uh, that was really funny as well at points with the music video, then that turning into the whole daddy issue elements of the story. I thought it was all right. Um, I wasn't in love with that. So overall, I think this episode for me had some, some decent laughs here and there. Um, I think I found this to be more of like a middle ground episode, honestly. But uh, yeah, that was Community Season 3, Episode 6, guys. What do you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. More Inspector Space Time and the Constable. And the Constable, in my opinion. But that's what I want, actually. But um, as always, if you enjoyed this, definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you all in the next one to see what's going down in Green Day. Peace.